So hello there, happy campers and wilderness hikers. Uh, I want to give you our 2019 gear list for our JM, our JMT, our PCT Washington hike this year, which will be 514 miles from the Bridge of the Gods all to all the way to Manning Park in British Columbia up through the state of Washington. So this is going to be quick and dirty. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and uh, we'll get back to you with any specific questions that you may have. First thing I want to talk about is the gear that I'll just be wearing every day on the trail. This is my everyday gear that I'll be putting on every day to, to hike the trail. If you look up here, we've got a uh, Columbia um, long sleeve sun shirt that I wear. This has got the capability of being able to roll it up and make the sleeves about half that length right there. And I'll be wearing that over, we've got an ex officio t-shirt that I'll have on and my ex officio boxer underwear that I'll be wearing every day. On my feet will be a pair of the Njinji toe socks liners. These are liner socks. And over the top of those, I will wear a pair of the darn tough hiking socks. And my boots of choice for this year's hike, as they have been for the last two years that we, Kath and I have been out on the trail, are the Loa Renegade boots. Uh, my trekking poles are the Lecky cork lights. And I've, you can see I've got a small handkerchief here. That, that I, This is my basically my nose rag and my spit rag, so I can wipe my nose on that. I got a pair of finger 10. Uh, these are gonna be my hiking gloves. These are actually golf gloves, but they're rain gloves. They're rain golf rain gloves. And I've worn them on several practice hikes. They're nice and cool. Got a breathable fabric on them because of the way that they're constructed to play golf in the rain. And I think I'm really gonna like these things on the trail. I got these because my uh, skin on my hands last year in the Sierra Nevadas on our JMT hike. I had splits in my index fingertips and also my thumb fingertips from all the dry uh, air and the sun exposure up there. So I wanted to get me a good pair of gloves this year. Hiking pants would be the Khalil. I, I think that's how you spell it, isn't it, Kat? Or pronounce it K-L-I-H-L, Kill, Khalil, I have no idea. Hiking pants. And then I'm gonna be wearing a pair of sunglasses. Uh, there's my sun hat there with the neck cover on the back of it there. And this is a Sunday afternoon is the company that makes these hats. Kath is recording this on a GoPro, which will be one of the two cameras I'll be taking. The other one is the Canon SX, SRX 740 high speed with a 40 times optical zoom on it and the cameras will be carried in a pouch which will be mounted on the front on my chest and this is a chest pouch it's made by um, z-packs and they call it in their catalog it's called a multi-pack and they have the clip-ons that you can hook it on to your pack straps to be able to hang it in front of your chest so those, that's what I'll be wearing and using every day. Now, not in any order, but I'm just gonna kinda go through the remainder of the times I'll be taking. We have these um, clamshell bags that are made by Hyperlite Mountain Gear. And these are great for putting clothes, ditty bag stuff into. And the Hyperlite Mountain uh, clamshells go into what you can see there, which is the Hyperlite Mountain Packs, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. I wanted to uh, essentially talk about all the gear that you see laid out here on this little settee here will all fit inside of this pouch right here. So I have a spare set of the Khalil or Kill. I think it's cool, K-U-H-L, cool. isn't it? Cool. The cool slacks that I'll be wearing, I've got my um, 
Marmot rain gear. These are the rain pants right here. And this is the rain jacket with the hood on it. Got the Patagonia hoodie. I didn't take this last year when we hiked up in the Sierras and I wish that I had one of these. The only time I'll probably be wearing this is to sleep in at night at the end of the day, but it's a nice little lightweight hoodie. I've got a uh, knit hat, which I didn't take with me last year. I'm taking that along with me. And then remember, this is just in the clothing bag. Uh, I've got a, another uh, ex officio t-shirt and another spare pair of underwear and I'll probably swap these off every five or six days and then wash the other pair and let them dry out. Also in my clothing bag I carry my um, new Nightcore headlamp. Uh, I'm going to take some outdoor research gloves. I had a pair of gloves last year that were like uh, heavy like heavy weather golf gloves and they were worthless when it got to be cold. So these are actually fleece lined, pretty lightweight. I'm gonna take those along with me this year. Got some extra smart water bottle caps. I found that my smart water bottle caps were wearing out, me, out on me on our 254 miles we hiked last year. And then I'll have two extra pairs of darn tough socks and one extra pair of the Njinji uh, toe sock liners that I'll be taking in my clothing bag. Also in the clothing bag I'll have my toiletries kit and my vitamins and medications that I have to take along with me. So all of that gear will essentially fit into this uh, Hyperlite Mountain clamshell uh, stuff in the back. All right over here now we've got the REI Flash, this is one of the changes we made in our sleeping arrangements. This is still folded up a little bit, but this is the mattress. I haven't inflated it, but it's a 78 inch by 25 inch by two inches deep. It's the REI Co-op Flash blow up uh, air pad to, to sleep on. This entire mattress will roll up and fit in a bundle that looks just about like this. I've just got some extra clothes stuffed in there to give you some idea about how big the the uh, stuff sack is when it's uh, filled up and this little bag right here I'll be using as my hiker wallet I'll put in a cash credit card uh, pass to get into the national parks we both have a lifetime pass for the national parks so those items will go into that little bag right there maybe my passport too Okay, next is the Hyperlite Mountain Southwest 4400 pack. We used these on the JMT last year. They worked great, didn't they, honey? Mm hmm And I've got a uh, head net, which is a Sea to Summit head net for mosquitoes. When we're out there, keep that on the shoulder strap in case we run into mosquitoes. And I've got a One Tigress water bottle holder there holding a a half liter smart water bottle. I'll be taking a couple of these smart water bottles and you'll see I've got a couple of other uh, ways to, to carry water because we may need to do some water carries on this. Uh, in the pockets of the belt that it goes with the pack, I'll have the following items. A bottle of hand sanitizer, my little um, Bear Gillis pocket knife, some, uh, some lip ointment, bottle of eye drops, and my um, Zycar Stratosphere 10,000 foot uh, lighter that I'll be taking with me. Got a sweat towel here that I'll have mounted on the one of the shoulder straps there to be able to wipe my face off. And then um, here's the platypus uh, fold up water bottle in the in event that carry an extra two liters there. And I'll have another a bottle that Kath is also going to bring along that I'll carry, which is a three liter version, of, but it's um, be free. It's the be free that's got the filter built into the bottle itself. So we'll have plenty of uh, water carrying capacity. Here are my water shoes, camp shoes, and town shoes. These are the uh, Keen lightweight waterproof sandals. 
Uh, we're going to be carrying a bear bag. This is just one of the bear bags. We actually ended up getting two because we've got some uh, 12 and 14 day food carries in a couple of our legs. So there's a bear bag for you. I've got some water bottles and there's ballast, but just to kind of give you some idea about what the bag looks like. And then down here, I've got the Z-Lite, uh, Thermarest Z-Lite pads. I use these for kneeling, for sitting. And what we do is I'll have these mounted in the back of my pack. I bought a 72 inch pad last year and I actually cut it into two pieces and you can fold it up like an accordion and you can use it again for sitting, for kneeling. One of the best uh, items that I made hiker brain wise for the last year's hike and we're going to continue to do that for this year. And then I have another, this is called my Diddy bag, which is another one of those Hyperlite Mountain uh, stuff sacks. This is the 4400. It's made for the 4400 pack, which is the pack that I have. It's the small one, but all of the items that you see laid out here that I'm going to discuss all fit into this ditty bag here. So I'm not going to go into the, all of the camera gear and batteries, but obviously I need batteries and battery charges for the two cameras I talked about previously. Got some uh, Apple cords for our iPhones. I'm actually taking a spare uh, GoPro Hero camera with me as a backup. I've got these two battery charger or power bricks, or RAV power bricks, 34,000 milliamp. And we use these to uh, power up the uh, headlamps, the cell phones, and the camera batteries as needed. Next to this is my uh, passport. Western Digital makes uh, my passport uh, one terabyte portable hard drive, which I'll, which I'll be transferring all of the pictures over to once the data cards start filling up on my camera so that I can erase the data cards in my camera and we'll have all the images, the videos and the pictures saved onto this. I got two spare Zycar lighters in there. I've got 50 feet of um, clothesline cord and that can also be used to replace any uh, cord that goes bad on the tent. I've got three fire starters in there. I've got some paracord, about 10 or 12, 15 feet of paracord, some paracord locks, and a um, compass. And this is the Sanutu or Sanoto. So we'll be using that only if all else fails because we're going to be using gut hooks on our cell phone so we'll have plenty of, um, of navigational help with uh, as far as GPS goes with the cell phones. Kath's carrying one and I'm carrying one and we're going to have the uh, black, Blackwood. Blackwood Press uh, JMT or excuse me PCT Atlas for uh, Washington State. So, last item is I would highly recommend if you're going to be doing long distance hiking, you make yourself up a checklist of your gear. And as you can see, this is, I'm going to read this as Sam's Washington PC gear for 2019. And I have all the items that I've discussed with you, probably a couple that I haven't discussed. And if you're wondering where the uh, fuel canister, the stove, the tent, and that, those kind of items are. Kath is going to be carrying that, those, kind, those items in her pack. So you're only seeing what I will be carrying. And of course in the bear bags, I will have, um, I'll have food in the bear bags. Yeah, one final item up here. Actually two items. This is the Nemo Philo, which is our pillow. Kath and I each have one of these. They're great, about three puffs of air and they're fully inflated. And then they flatten out. Put them inside of your pack as a little extra padding or filler between a layers in your pack. So we'll be taking one of those and then I'll be taking the uh, 
have uh, enlightened equipment revelation quilt which is a 10 degree quilt sleeping quilt this year and this quilt the entire quilt will fit in a, into this large hyperlight mountain gear uh, clamshell bag right here so hope this has been helpful and again if you have any questions or comments uh, about our gear list and what we're going to be doing this year just uh, put your comments down in the comment section below thank you and happy hiking